Jamaica, which I've never had Jamaica. It was anything yeah. except for tea or agua fresca. Oh my gosh, I don't know, it looks funny. <laughs> <laughs> Tangerines. I'm Maddie. And I'm Jordan. And we are Tangerine Travels. Today we are at a Saturday market here at Andares, which we have been to once before, but we've not seen this really cool market. Just did a lap around. What do you think so far? There's lots of awesome stuff. We tried a bunch of samples. So much goodness here. And so much that's gluten free. I'm so excited. I don't know the last time I've had a brownie, so <laughs> this is really awesome. We're about to get some breakfast though. It looks like they have some super cool, probably like organic and allergy friendly tacos of some kind. And Emma says they're the best, so we're going with it. <laughs> and we will show you guys what this market is all about today. So we grabbed some tacos here. They're 16 pesos each. They're called tacos al vapor, meaning they're not cooked with any oil. They're cooked with steam. Is that right? Yeah, steam. Sí. You tasted it, yeah? No, Give it a we, try. Got, we got Jamaica. Uh, what was it? Uh, rajas con requesón. Rajas con requesón? Requesón. Requesón. <laughs> it is okay. a, uh, basically like a sort of cheese with uh, chili. Okay, so maybe it's going to be spicy. Why don't you give it a try? I'm gonna try that one first, the one that I can't pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Rajas con Sop. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> this is so good. It reminds me of quiche, like with cheese and spinach and huh. kind of like a quiche. Okay. I wonder if I'd like it. I've never really been a fan of quiche. And then this is mica, which I've never had mica. It was anything except for tea or. Yeah, and how do you say Jamaica in English? Hibiscus. <laughs> Ooh, this is really good too. All of these, there's so much flavor in this. I might have to go back for seconds. <laughs> we got these really good green juices and they were three for 50 pesos and they're super fresh and really good with our breakfast. They have broccoli, alfalfa, wheatgrass, spinach, chard, um, chard parsley. celery, parsley. Makes me think of a veggie tail song. Broccoli, celery, my mom will get that. <laughs> so we're right in front of a booth where we first tried in the beginning we came here we had some cookies and brownies because they're gluten free and after trying a few more here at this farmer's market we decided this was the best brownie and we had to come back and buy it. It's 45 pesos and we are asking a little bit more about cookies caseras and they are sold um, all over the place and delivered to Guadalajara and are based in the Lake Chapala or Chapala area. So if you guys ever have a chance to try this, yum! Seriously, do it. <laughs> this is a huge brownie, by the way. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Mmm. Mmm. Gluten-free goodness. <laughs> you would never guess that it was gluten-free, though. There are so many places here, but honestly, there's too many for us to feature all of them. We're just gonna do the best ones, and I think this falls in that category. Best ones. <laughs> so, brownies typically aren't my thing, but I just tried this, and it is pretty dang good. So you just, Jordan's not a fan of chocolate normally, but that's a high compliment. You like a chocolate thing, even though you don't like chocolate. Yep. <laughs> it's not that I don't like chocolate, I just don't like it in large amounts. <laughs> like in a brownie. Yes. Except for this one. <laughs> Very first time ever trying rambuta. Oh my gosh, I don't know, it looks funny. <laughs> okay. It's pretty good. Oh my gosh, yeah. Mm, it's like really sweet. And yeah. Sweet, kind of like a gummy type deal. I would eat them as a snack or something. I feel like as a, a snack, like I have to clarify what I would eat them as. As a snack. <laughs> what were you gonna say? You know, so often I eat a food and I'm like, oh, this just tastes like something I know, but I can never think of what it is. <laughs> it has sort of like a grape texture, but more gelatiny. Mm -hmm. and it's then interesting that there's a seed in here that looks like you can eat it. But I don't think we can. <laughs> okay, we lied. This is lychee. The other one that's like a spiny, sort of a dragon looking thing. That's a rambutan, which we are going to try next. Put your fingernail down here and then like pinch it, peel it back. This looks like a fruit that would grow on a cactus, does it? Mm, not sure. I oh, know, this fruit grows, grows on a tree. On a tree? Yeah. Okay. Never ever seen this before. And I would think that you wouldn't be able to touch this without like uh, gouging your hand. Yeah. <laughs> but, but these 
thorns are actually really soft. They almost feel like grass. Just like, like really wiry pet fur, maybe. Try not to eat the flesh that is really close from the seed in the middle. Okay. Might give you a stomach ache if you eat it. So this looks like, like what a... I just did there? No, just not oh. eat the seed. Okay. What do you think? It's really good. It's not nearly as sweet as the other one. It's like a gummy bear texture. Maybe a little easier to chew than a gummy bear. Okay. So my very first one ever, I peeled it back and promptly threw it in my lap. Thankfully not on the floor, but here we go. <laughs> I think this is sweeter than the other one. You think? This is good. It's, I don't know, this is confusing to me. This sort of is like a, if you were to cut a tennis ball open, this is like oh, what yeah. it looks like on the inside. It totally does. And yeah, I like this. You're right, it has very, like a gummy type texture. So we just stumbled upon this booth. They're selling lots of gluten-free and vegan bread. We tried this one, it's platano y... In English, it's carob tree, but we're not familiar with it. But it's amazing. It was 110 pesos for the whole loaf. And it's, it's really heavy. Yeah, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty sizable loaf. We tasted it and we're like, yep, gotta have this. <laughs> so we're just walking around the mall now after exploring the market a little bit. We wanted to share some details with you guys. For instance, it's free to come. It is between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. And what are your thoughts on it after seeing everything? I thought it was really cool. I was expecting it to be more expensive considering how expensive this mall is. But it seemed like things were pretty reasonably priced. Yeah, and um, really high quality ingredients. Like the last thing that we tried was a pomegranate juice and a pomegranate tequila mixture. And you could really tell this came from pomegranate seed. Very fresh, not a lot of additives or chemicals. And that seems to be a focus throughout all of the products that are here, which is really cool. So right now I'm standing in front of Ferrari Guadalajara. If you want to buy a Ferrari and have a few extra bucks to do so, you can get that here. So as it turns out, the Uber is much more expensive on the way back than it is on the way there, and we've noticed this both times that we've gone. Today it was how much? About 60 on the way there and 100 on the way back. And this is even after we've walked a little bit outside of the mall to see if we could get it down at all. Did reduce the price by about 30 or Yeah, it would have been pesos. 130 on the way back. It was so 107. that's interesting. Keep that in mind if you're trying to budget your way there and back from about the middle of the city. This time we were lucky enough to have our friend Emma guiding us around, so instead of just walking around the mall we got to see the buildings surrounding the mall and he told us that this neighborhood is perhaps the nicest in the greater Guadalajara area and the highest buildings and they're constantly under construction and adding new buildings there even parking lots are being converted from a lot into what in the future will be high-rise condos or uh, large office buildings the buildings are pretty incredible just looking underneath them you just feel like you look up all the way to the moon and you're you're still looking up this building. <laughs> And then, although it is considered the hottest day of the year, we were walking around after we got a late lunch, and then we happened to run into what I think is considered, they're called the Gay Pride Parade. And that was going down, I believe, Avenida Vallarta? Yeah, it was Avenida Vallarta. So, really interesting. Um, way more people there than I would have imagined. I've really never been to a parade like that before, so I can't really, don't think I could talk about what all was going on or, you know, the meaning behind it or what people were representing, but everyone kind of had their own costume or look that they were going for with makeup and stuff. What did you think? It was much bigger than I was expecting, a lot more people. And we walked down where it was going, down Avenida Vallarta, and it just seemed like it was going for endless blocks. Ever and ever, yeah. There was so many people and sort of some were on trucks, like in the back of trucks or in buses. A cool display of lots of personality. But yeah, so kind of a, an interesting thing. We didn't stay very long. We were just walking home at that time and it is pretty hot today, so... But that was kind of cool that we got to do this farmer's market and see that happening in the city. As we learned, there's the biggest community, uh, probably LGBTQ letters. Uh, <laughs> the biggest of you have that to say community. Them in Spanish. No, <laughs> definitely not. In all of Mexico, we haven't 
fact check that, but I think that sounds like it could be pretty accurate since Guadalajara is the second largest city in Mexico, but I'm rambling. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. <laughs> Hope you had a fun time coming along with us. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. <laughs> and gong that bell, because Laska just gonged it, and this is a special, special day. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos, and then we will see you in the next one. See you tomorrow. Okay. Is your boyfriend? Laska has a boyfriend! <laughs> <laughs>